Hey everybody, it's the 10th of April, it's Monday, and there's definitely some birthdays this week. People I know, I've got to remember who they are. <clears throat> hey people, told you what I was working on with Blake and, and um, Cubby is good. The response to the first um, clip of a song from the album is very, very positive. Thank you for listening. And if you haven't listened, it's the video before this one. The song On the Crest, as in On the Crest of a Wave. It was just the um, image that popped in my head I was as I was um <clears throat> you know, looking for a work working title. Often it'll be like a um, word salad or the first thing that pops in my head when I title things. Since I don't pre-plan um, writing. It just, I follow the muse. That's why I call the new, this album, The Muse. I'm very, very happy with the results. And that song that you folks are hearing in the video, that's not the best song. The whole album is really good. It's a journey. I'm really happy with it. I chose that song as an introduction. It feels right. Like It feels like an introduction to Welcome to this this place. Welcome to this this space that we have prepared. It's sacred. It's it's um, safe. It's a loving space. And you can hear that the music is very loving, very very much so. Very happy about this. And um, so here's the, here's more information on it. So. It looks like um, if, if there's no problems that we I should get the shipment of the CD by the first week of May. I'm going to make the album available digitally in about another week. I was talking to Blake and Cubby and asked them what they think. And we want to wait a little bit longer to release it at all digitally until close to the actual physical CD release date. So not this week maybe at the end of next week I'll release it digitally through my Bandcamp page and then you'll be able to pre-order or the the ordering <clears throat> the ability to order the physical CD <clears throat> will be active then <clears throat> and as soon as the CDs get here they'll go out okay that's an update on that for you okay in music news I was playing Lionheart by Kate Bush. Love Kate Bush. What a writer, what a imaginative talent, and what an interesting voice. Guitarist Ian Berenson, who has who played with her quite a bit, he's on this album and on several others. He was also in the band Pilot Passed Away. One that caught my attention, thought I would mention it. Real good stuff here. celebrated quite a bit um, over the weekend the CD yesterday with Blake we're, we're, we're kind of giddy you know we really are because this is world-class music and we we did it here in this room it doesn't sound like it does it, it sounds like it was made in a big beautiful studio very happy that's what I do um, with my time keeps me from going crazy as I'm, I create I create so listen to some of this yesterday um, I'm not into I'm not religious I'm a spiritual man but I'm not religious and and um, please leave me alone regarding your spirit your religious beliefs it's it's beliefs it's not facts so just leave me alone. I have a long, deep history with religion. Almost became a priest, okay? Went to monastery for a short time, okay? So I played some of this. East, Easter Everywhere, 13th Floor Elevators. This is the recent um, 
version with this beautiful wax vinyl rather when I posted it someone asked me how does it play it plays beautifully this is really quiet I love this version because it's a double album they give you a stereo and a mono version of the album and this music sounds really neat in mono if you haven't listened to um, music of that era in mono it makes a difference I also had the picture disc out but I guess I put it away or did I put it away it didn't it's out okay I was just showing that just to talk about it um, I don't have it yet but there's a new deer hoof album out and I like the band I like the first um, video song that they've released to plan to get it when I went down to Homer's they only had gotten in one copy and it was already gone but I played this because this is one of their albums that when I got it I kind of skipped over it. I bought it and then I didn't really listen to it breakup song breakup songs and uh, man this is a very interesting creative band they're wildly creative King Gizzard um, puts out a whole lot of stuff, and it amazes me how um, varied and diverse their output is with as much music as they, as they put out. Deerhoof is the same. They put out a lot of records, but they don't sound the same at all, and they're very good. This is really good. Uh, Mothball the Fleet. Oh, I think that's the name of it, but that one really caught my, my uh, attention. I had to play it like four or five times. It's like this is unique. That's just a unique sound. Deer hoof. What else I got here? I got records down here to, that I'm going to play that I haven't played yet. Haven't met Tony Vega, but I think he's in Chicago. Seems like someone I would like, you know. And we're friends online. He's bought my records, and I like his collection. He has a lot of records I have, and he has records that I don't have that I want. Showed this yesterday on Facebook, Slope by Tenko. This is very interesting, it's different. And I haven't played this, I didn't play it last night, but I'm gonna play it today. Fred Frith, Arto Lindsay, David Moss, Wayne Horvitz, Zena Parkins, okay. Th that t those people are on here, that tells you a lot. This is, this is, um, it's not to be messed with, it's some serious stuff. Okay. So, I did what I do. When I went to Homer's, I um, inadvertently, so there was two, they got in two new um, reissues by Meshuggah last Friday. And as I showed you, picked up nothing because I knew I didn't have this on vinyl they also had Coloss but I didn't look closely I thought I had I thought I had it on vinyl and then when I checked it didn't so I went back Saturday and picked up Coloss by Miss Sugar this is a recent reissue I don't know how many copies there are of but it's whatever you want to call that color combination and you can see through these are really well pressed records too their new label atomic fire if I understand correctly someone actually started the label on the strength of Meshuggah's success if I got do I have that right somebody know love this band and this what's interesting about Meshuggah is that they'll do these ambient tracks on almost every album where they Everything is loud and, 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 and pummeling, and then they'll do these quiet things, no drums at all, just these atmospheric guitars repeating. Interesting contrast. Great, great band. Also interesting, their um, trajectory. They started out as wannabe Metallicas from their home country. Is it Sweden? Are they from Sweden? And they just raced far ahead of Metallica in their as they developed it's a band love that band got through a, a side of this just was looking at records and said I haven't listened to this in a while 
Inferno by Metamorphosy, one of those 1970s Italian progressive rock albums that is definitely worth checking out. Some of the wor- some of the vo- vocals are almost operatic. You know, it's like the guy. It sounds like he really wants to be taken seriously, like it's not a joke, but it's almost jokey. But the music is fantastic, and it's keyboard driven. I love that. Hadn't played this in a while, and really enjoyed it. It's an album that I used to, um, when I saw it in the record stores when it first came out around 1970, 68, 70, it uh, captivated me because of the, 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 the cover. And back then, records weren't always sealed, and so I could open this up in the store and look at it. It had a beautiful design. Very spiritual. Quintessence. So it's an album that I always wanted. Finally was able to get a copy of it used. This person, Rhoda, I I think she's someone that passed away and her Homer's bought her, her collection. I bought several of her albums because she she had classic progressive rock and, and, and German cosmic rock albums. This was really enjoyable, side one. Uh, was much better than I remembered. Starts off with a long flute, flute meditation, and um, this is good stuff. Quintessence. I have another one in one of their albums. Okay, okay, do that later. Isn't that a, isn't that a beautiful cover? What else is out here? Well, something else that I played and didn't show the other day got through um, a side of this. Old Blues Magoos. This is a nostalgia trip because I loved this record when I was a kid. Um, Electric Comic Book. I didn't have the album, but the singles when they came on the radio won't, uh, won't Get Fooled Again. And they had another one. Get Me to the World on Time. Love those songs. I just, you know, interesting Interestingly, folks, when I was a little boy, even with my black ass, I would fantasize about being in a band like this and looking like that in a way, in my mind. It just seemed so cool what they were doing. It was cool. That's a good album. Do I have anything else I haven't shown here? I think that's it. So, I will mention that my and warning to you racist uh, low life trolls who I know are still watching we don't need to hear from you I'm about to mention that my older sister Stephanie who's uh, because of a back um, injury uh, has needed to start a GoFundMe my sister is 70 years old Okay, it's not easy to find a new job she's job hunting but she's also like us, you know, the bills don't stop, and it's taking forever, you know, she just was just denied another job, you know, so I'll look it up and leave the link if you would care to help my sister, please, you know, and I don't want to hear from you racist people who are, who have this attitude that black people are always looking for a handout, that's, that's in your mind, you know, and people are just, just horrible, you just really need to stay away, and if you leave comments you know, I don't know that I'm going to leave them for other people to deal with you because it's you're just rude and it's just ridiculous that we have that we have to deal with such shitty people. So that's what I have to say because I'm mentioning my sister Stephanie. If you would like to contribute to her GoFundMe, I'll leave the link. Okay, but no, we I will tolerate no harassment, no verbal abuse, no shitty comments. It's uncalled for. You're out of line when you do that. And I encourage any of you folks who are dealing with that on your channel or in your life, step to these people because they're wrong. And we need to educate people and be, be the adults in the room and say, okay, that's enough children. It's time for you to act 
like you have some kind of common sense and decency and stop treating people like shit just because you're a piece of shit. And I have a right to say that. That's not me being nasty. I, I'll say it again. I was assaulted originally for no reason by these people, okay? That's why it keeps coming up, you know. I want it to stop, and I, I'd like to make a change in the in the, the landscape, in the social media landscape, where we start to tamp down on this negative uh, behavior. We need to call it out and, and stop it. So I'm here to do my part, okay? It ain't cool. We need to be better people. We do. Everyone will benefit from that. Okay. Talk to you later.